Hello and welcome to another video on what is Shopify. So in today's video, I'm going to focus is on the POS, which is one of the features that Shopify offer and according to the Shopify blog about what is Shopify, right? So uh, POS is one of the features that they provide to one of the actors involved in your business okay so whether it is for merchants consumers and your own uh, business specifically for the commerce operations product inventory uh, or product management inventory management shipping as well as payment processing so just to recap about the shopify this is a platform that works out of the box, that contains a lot of the features while abstract the unnecessary complexity from dealing with commerce operations, such as, as I mentioned before, product, inventory, payments, and shipping. So with Shopify, merchants can build so merchants can turn their idea into stores or in business and start selling so we can think of this shopify as a set of layers where now on the layer one the shopify core products and service so once you buy a shopify product or a, Shop a shopify plan it include is Everything you need to turn your idea into business and start selling. First, it gives you uh, templates to improve the look and feel of your online store, as well as tools so you can start uh, or to start selling multiple places, whether it's in store, in person, uh, brick and mortar locations, web, mobile pop-up shop or in multiple sale channels digital marketplace or uh, social media as well as integrated payment processing a checkout which is fast reliable uh, and secure and seo and marketing tools so you can keep track what's going on uh, with your business okay this is the shopify cold products the only store tools to start selling in multiple places and different sales channels as well as the checkout a fast reliable checkout process integrated payment processors in marketing tools and SEO good so so with all of this okay the Shopify core products uh, and if you can even fine-tune your uh, Shopify merchants or your Shopify experience you can do that by relying on the Shopify API as well as the uh, dev tools they provide so once you have this core shopify code products okay the second is the additional products and service specifically more orientated to your business so business orientated meaning so they give you for example balance as well as capital so how you can finance your own business operations and if you can and if and as you grow uh, in your business uh, you might want to rely on differing applications to meet your needs and that's where you uh, go to the shopify marketplace the shopify app store so these are apps that are written by third party developers so 
if you can also have a higher uh, uh, Shopify expert, a Shopify app expert, you can go on the mar Shopify marketplace. So the whole point of this is to understand all of these different layers that Shopify or this e-commerce provide. The Shopify cold products and service, specifically to their online store, tool to start uh, or tools to sell in multiple places and sales channels, as well as the integrated payment processing, a fast, reliable checkout, and also the SEO and marketing tools. So the second layer, layer two, is now when your business is start, start to gain traction uh, and growth, so they provide things like balance, like you can keep track of your financial statements, as well as financing with Shopify Capital. Uh, to, uh, so Shopify can provide to this small to, be, to mid business uh, funding. All right. And uh, the, th the layer third, the third layer, uh, layer three, uh, is app built by trust partners. So as a merchant, you can fine tune even your experience or select applications that adapt to your own needs. That's great. And that's something you can find on the Shopify app store. So everything you can imagine, uh, there is an app for that. From the latest estimate, uh, app to the new hottest social media ad tools okay and then i look at why shopify so according to their own blog well shopify it has a huge ecosystem uh, of entrepreneurs uh, developers partners uh, as well as merchants. It also expands over 175 countries. However, pay Shopify payments is, is way more or less than that. It's, more, it's, more, it's way more or less supported than that. Uh, so you can also improve the, the creative expression of your applications, as well as it absorbs necessary complexity as you scale your business, uh, such as growth tools or business growth tools, let's say uh, branding uh, and that kind of things, as well as it can scale with you because now it is uh, backed by the Shopify. So this might be uh, a trade off, okay? If you want, for example, migrate your online store to another service provider. However, Shopify uh, offer is uh, recently a very nice integration with most of the top popular frameworks in the JavaScript ecosystem like React or Remix. So it's more uh, friendly right now for the developers. So once I look at the why, okay, so once I know what it is, the why, and the Shopify features, because what are the things that Shopify offers? So from merchants, right? It offer is a, a storefront, or, or right? So storefronts, uh, which is uh, you can create new ways to sell that delight users, growth. And, audience uh, and boost sales across different touch points whether it is a web person third-party service marketing pre-media mobile and so the thing that you can do here in the storefront well is allow you to create a custom website or integrate your commerce to mobile as well as inject shopping moment into your games where your audience already engaged 
and create custom or sales channel or sell on custom sell channel. So you will have much more full control uh, by using the store from API that allows you to create new buyer experience or new purchase experience on any platform. So example of purchase experience are so online shopping, cafes and restaurants, car dealerships, uh, as well as grocery shops, uh, travel booking, um, in-store retail, an electronic store. So this is the, the several example here of example of buying experience. So online shopping, cafes and restaurants, car dealerships, electronic store, travel and booking, also the grocery shopping, okay, as well as in-store retail, okay. So, uh, so this is store from, okay, one of the features that, that give to merchants, store from. The other is uh, sales or custom social channels integration uh, on sales channels. So you can promote and sell your product, whether, whether it's digital or physical, across different networks or marketplace, okay? So different networks such as uh, social media, so turn your followers into customers. So finding shoppers, grows your online audience, grows your online brand audience, as well as build customer loyalty with social selling. <coughs> Okay. So this is what it is. So storefront and social channels integration. So you have, so you have storefront, okay? Give me a second here, okay? So you have for merchants, so Shopify merchants features are storefront, customs or social channels integrations and sales channels okay so you can promote your digital or physical service across different marketplace or network social network social media networks so in the context of social media turn your followers into customers so find new shoppers grows your brand audience and build customer loyalty with social selling, okay? And when it comes to the online marketplace, like this, all right? Uh, well, sell, sell where people, huh, sorry. So sell where, where people search, whether it's on Google, or sell where people shop, or one of the top uh, brand, one of the top retail brands, okay? So, this is social media integrations and sales channels. Another feature is the shop app assistant, okay? Where this is just to be more technical, this is a wrapper around the Shopify database using ChatGPT to rediscover business while finding and purchase uh, their products the shopify app shopify ai or shop shop app the digital shop assistant and now the other is the pos the point of self 
So, the point of self, after all, this is a system that allows you to process transactions and accept payments in person. So, you just to look at the history of the POS, get to understand more about this, to, get, to gain more context, well, we can trace back to uh, the end of the North American Civil War in 1880s, where people, okay, uh, especially uh, saloon owners uh, or shop owners, need to hire stranger after the uh, Civil War. And for this stranger, it was very easy to pick money from customers. So they, so shop owners need to hire these strangers to assist customers. So everything changed when James Reedy from Dayton, Ohio, invented the first mechanical cash registers. And what it does is just to count uh, uh, the, the what it does, back then it only count is the the amount of money sell sell by uh, their assistant right so the readers were out of business uh, and their patent was purchased by John Henry Patterson an industrialist or a mogul a tycoon or magnate, so the magnates come from the Latin word magnus, which means is great lore. Uh, the word mogul comes from an English deviation from the Arabic and Persian words uh, mogul, from the em from the Mughal Empire in middle the Middle Age. So India in the Middle Age. allude to emperors that possess huge amounts of powers and opulence capable of building large wonders such as the Dalmaha. okay? And the other is a tycoon, which is a Japanese word uh, for used by uh, used by uh, shoguns, uh, which back then they were just military, Japanese military dictatorships, most of them. Uh, so yeah, shogun. Okay, and <coughs> sorry, and that mean is a great lore. Uh, all right, so John Henry Patterson, okay, bought this pattern from the. Read this, and then he perfect that uh, cash machine registers, and it also is very interesting because uh, he's also famous to fire the directors, the the let it, that he he's he was famous to fire uh, the the manager and then the CEO of the computing and tabulating and computing, I think it's computing tabulating machine. Uh, computing tabulating recording company. Okay. Which is the precursor of the IBM. Okay. Computing tabulating recording company. Right. He, after that, uh, so this is also a very interesting way, you know? Manufacturing system, sales, office, and administration. I think this hasn't changed that much, okay? Uh, most of the time, all of this architect, or mo most of the time, all of these organizations, organization charts is more flat. Okay, accounting orders, cost, sales, record, mailing, filling, uh, advertising, Cleveland District, Philadelphia District. So 
basically the operation hasn't changed that much in fact what it does is to add new um, yeah add new departments you have manufacturing or aka the operations right the operations and now it's also is the IT the system sales office so the point here is to Watson which works in the NCR he was fired by Henry so young young Henry Patterson and then he became the manager and the CEO of the IBM or this computer tablet and uh, recording company and uh, later IBM okay Uh, so yeah, this is a very very interesting So Thomas D. Watson, so you now you can understand why they call they have a product called Watson Which is somewhat uh, is an AI a uh, Huge supercomputer AI that beat most of the or that beat the Chess master champion Okay <coughs> Back then uh, it's okay now uh, with that little little bit of history uh, which is it was something very 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 interesting at least to me all right uh, then I look at what is sh the Shopify POS what represents the Shopify POS well uh, because as I mentioned cash register they were good at doing only one thing which is print and emit receipts pos now allows you to update your inventory when selling a product as well as manage staff get real-time reports and build customer uh, library for customer features okay? build this a library for customer loyalty so in the context of now the Shopify POS okay so with Shopify POS retail business get all the tools to manage daily operations so they so retail business according to Investopedia are business that specialize in the sales of good and or service to consumers okay that's what they are okay so they specialize in the sales of goods and or service or aka this business to consumer model so products sold by retails okay so products sold by retailers include and this is again recap this because here the whole the whole the whole point of this of today's video is to mention that okay is that Shopify POS uh, allow retail business to get all the tools to manage daily operations okay so this retail business they specialize on the, the in the sales of goods and or service to consumers products sell uh, products sold by retailers include apparel jewelry housewares small appliance electronics groceries and pharmaceutical products and the service okay so service so service cover a broad range of yes yeah, so service cover a broad range uh, that include is tools and equipment rentals pharmacies auto care and cloud computing so retail sales volume is part of the consumer spending which accounts for about two-thirds of the US economy activity 
So they measure, and this is all about, this is something that they mention about the retail business, okay? All about this. All about this. This is all about this. So I just want to recap more about this. The POS, the Shopify POS of retail business. Uh, again, talking about the Shopify POS, okay? That it allows retail business to get all the tools for uh, to manage daily operations okay so retail business is specialized on in the sale of good and or sell so retail business is specialized in the sales uh, of good and or service to consumers or aka business to consumer uh, model so products sold by retailers include apparel, jewelry, small appliance, houseware, electronics, and grocers, as well as pharmaceutical products. Service covered a broad range, including so tools and equipment rentals, auto care, pharmacies, in cloud computing and the interesting part of this is that retail sales volumes represent uh, or is part of the consumer spending and represents two-thirds of the u.s economy activity meaning that <laughs> the two two-thirds of the u.s economy is based on that or is based on Consumer and spending. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting once you know this. So, all right. So, keep now, keep looking. Okay, so keep looking at uh, if you want to know, for example, where are the most or the, big, the 10 biggest retail companies here. Uh, so they conduct their sales at brick and mortar location and online. Retail sales are part of the consumer spending. The biggest retail company with TTM revenue of 600.1 billion is Walmart. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, the biggest retail company with TTM revenue of 600.1 billion is Walmart. The latest, the last of the top 10 retail company is low with revenue of 96 billions things I just wanted to take a look at the different retails here mm-hmm and the different retails here so the biggest so they conduct their sales. So they they conduct or they made they made their their sales. So they can they made their sales at brick and mortar locations or online and online and and or online. Okay, so the last of the top of 10 retails company. Okay, so now talking about is the biggest retail company, the biggest retail company with TTM. I don't know what the is that TTM 12 month trailing revenue. Okay, so 12 month. 12, 12, 
what the hell? 12 month, 12 trailing month. Why they, why they call that? Okay. Trailing 12 month revenue. Okay. Trailing 12 month revenue. Okay. Revenue. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, excited. The biggest retail company with TDM revenue of 600. Jesus, look at that. Of 6.1. 600.1 billion. Billion. Jesus. Billion. Is Walmart. The aim, son. And the last of the top. The last of the top. Ten. Retails. Ten. And the last of the top ten retails. Company. Companies. Is. Low. Lowest. Lowest with ninety six exactly with with revenue revenue of ninety six billion. Jesus, <laughs> so that'll be all for this video. Take care, bye bye.